So as an attorney in the community, I get a whole lot of questions about some of the things when it comes to police interaction with civilians. And of course you get my perspective, but it's another thing to get a police officer's perspective. Today we've got Sergeant Rob here to give us the perspective of somebody who is not only a police officer, but also trains police officers when it comes to interactions with civilians. Sergeant Rob, one of the questions that is oftentimes asked of me is, uh, well, Lorenzo, uh, the officer would keep uh, asking for my license and then not ask, not telling me what it is, the reason why he or she pulled me over. Are officers trained to um, not tell you why they have pulled you over until they have your license? There are several officers that are trained to make sure that they identify first. Uh, it's not the way that I train people. Mm -hmm. I wanted to, to try to set the driver at ease as much as I wanted them to set me at ease. Mm -hmm. So I would make my approach. I would identify myself, the agency I work for, and the reason that I stopped them, mm -hmm. and then ask for a license and, and insurance verification. But there are other means of training, and you're going to see other people that are just adamant that until I know who you are, we're not going to move forward at this stop. So would you say that regardless of which, whether they tell you right out, like you particularly train, or they may hold off on telling you until they have your license, is it important to just follow the directions of the officer during the stop? That's always the way I would encourage somebody to, to handle that. The more that you can comply and just follow instruction, mm -hmm. the easier it is for everybody. Yes, sir.